Hey guys, and today we're talking about the full buildup and review of the Racer X Twig Mutant 4 inch. Now, these are interesting times in FPV. And uh, one of the things that is clear, despite where regulation takes us in the next few years, um, and it could go a variety of ways, guys, nobody needs to start freaking out yet. One thing is for sure that if you have builds that can add up to less than 250 grams all up weight with your battery, then you don't really need to worry either way, regardless of what happens. And this guys is um, one of the best examples of a recipe for that that I have seen to date four inch so let's go through the components list very quickly I am um, on the twig XL three inch I use the Beatty FPV 20 amp all-in-one board but these frames also have the ability to accommodate a 20 by 20 stack so I wanted to demonstrate that here um, those all-in-one boards are great. The Beta FPV seems to be the strongest of all of those that have been released so far. But a lot of the smaller ones have a lot of quality control issues. And so pushing this 4-inch on 4S, I wanted to ensure, even if it sacrificed a couple of grams, that I was going to be safe pushing it to the limits with no apprehension, no hesitation, just ready to send it. And so I'm using the 20 by 20 Mamba Stack by Diatone. Now, that is a very cheap, very light, very inexpensive option that comes in at about $40 retail. You can get it even less on sale, so pay attention to the FPV sales alerts group, guys. Uh, in addition to the Mamba stack, I am using the Esheen Nano video transmitter. Um, that is, you know, it seems to be a very tried and true um, solid option. There are pretty much three really good Nano VTXs on the market for these smaller builds, and I'm, you can really use them on any builds. And those are the Ishii Nano, the Nameless RC Nano, the Team Black Sheep Pro 32. That is represents the very high end of the spectrum there. That one is what you want to go with if you absolutely want to have no worries. And there's a very new contender on the market, which is the uh, Rush tank nano and uh, i'm still waiting to get my hands on one of those i'm probably going to put that on a five inch build in addition to that i'm running the run cam oh, oh oh the run cam robin now i've been running the run cam nano 2 in a lot of builds but i wanted to also demonstrate that in this twig um, it actually has a canopy pod that supports a micro size camera so you can use a nano camera with an adapter or um, you can use a micro camera. So any micro camera will work on this. There's actually also a pod available uh, that has a slightly elongated camera hole up at the front that will allow you to run one of the HD cameras uh, on the market. Motor-wise, I'm going with the Emax 1408 3600 KV. This is an outstanding standing combination for 4s now there are a couple of other kv um, options on the market there you can go a little bit lower kv if you want to go 6s but this is really my favorite secret sauce and this build comes out all up with the props prop wise i'm using the new hq four by two and a half by blade prop very light and it fits a t-mount motor um, and so the significance about using a T-mount motor on these builds is that it saves you a good, if you com combine the reduced weight of the motor, not having that larger um, M5 shaft, not having that prop nut at the top, having these screws instead, and also having a thinner hub at the prop center, you end up saving as much as two to three grams per corner. So that really reduces the weight of your build. Um, and this them um, releasing this motor in a 1408 size allows you to have that lower weight without sacrificing any of this incredible power that you can get with this thing. Uh, of course, I'm using the XM Plus receiver as I pretty much do on all of my builds. And let's talk about how this thing flies. Now, 
prior to all of this craziness going on, I speculated on if 4-inch was making a comeback. Um, Emacs released the powerhouse Babyhawk R 4-inch uh, about six months ago. And when they did that, I was really astounded at how much performance they were able to pack in, how much power, how much everything. And that was using 1606 motors. By going with 1408, the T-mount um, prop here, they're able to get a lot of that same performance in a weight that is 30 grams less. That's right, the Emacs Baby Hack R um, comes in at closer to 165 grams. This being 135, that 30 grams worth of savings means that you can run something like this, a very small battery. This is a Pulse 650 milliamp 4S pack. Now this weighs about 72 grams. That means the all up weight with battery ends up coming in about 207 grams. Now this would, this combination can absolutely do wonders on a track. I was amazed at how much speed this thing has. Straight line speed, um, I think it's probably faster um, in a foot race with than the Emacs Bayhawk R. Now, why is that? Well, the motor difference. Um, if you go back a couple of years when 2405 was the king of 4S on five inch, um, you noted that it had a lot of low end power for some great control, but it lacked that top end. So this is very similar, right guys? 1408 compared to 1606 means that you have a motor that is two millimeters shorter, but it's two millimeters wider um, by going with the uh, 1606. So that allows you to have that low end grunt, but by doing the opposite with this setup on the 1408, you get some of that top end back. So on a straight line, it's gonna be a little bit faster, um, but you do sacrifice some of that low end power, but by stripping 30 grams off of the formula, I can barely tell a difference at those low end speeds. The response is incredible. Um, it just flies so well. I could easily take this to a track and depending on the size of the track, the layout, I could run this very confidently back and forth with any of my five inch racing builds and it would be very close in the ballpark. Now for certain tracks, if they had a long punch in them or they were a little bit longer, this 650 milliamp probably is not gonna cut it. But you can use an 850 milliamp. <laughs> this is the one that comes with the Emacs Babyhawk R. There's a lot of other good options. I really like the tattoo um, versions uh, as opposed to the China Hobby lines because they end up being a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, have a good amount of power. Um, so that even with an 850, you're still well under the 250 gram threshold. So what do you think guys? This frame is on pre-order at a lot of places. I'll have links in the description below. I believe it's gonna cost around 30 bucks-ish. Um, I think it's gonna come with a set of these props. Um, a lot of times Racer X does include props with this, so it may. Um, the, this pod is customized, just to show you an example of how easy it is to throw a little bit of paint on there and have your motors match your pod. This is a slightly different configuration than the three inch one. So you can see a couple of different options. I have installed the motor protectors at the back. Um, I actually meant to put them on the front. I like to run them on the front only because that's where you're gonna tumble. But when I was putting them on, I wasn't paying attention to which side was front. So I'll switch those later, but really, really outstanding guys. I did take a couple of tumbles and had no issues whatsoever. Now, the real question is, can this take an 80 mile an hour hit into a gate? And I'm not sure about that. Um, but most people that are getting this are not really buying them to go compete and racing with them. They're buying it to have a very light weight um, quad that you can fly comfortably from almost anywhere. Um, being that this is what, 150 grams lighter than your average five inch with a, with a 6S battery, maybe even more, um, I would feel a lot more comfortable taking this to a lot more places. Showing off some speed has an incredible amount of control, so you don't have to worry about that as much. Um, and are builds like this gonna be the future? Is the future 
four inch base rather than five inch base as these components, as these builds, as everything gets smaller, faster, cheaper. If we can manage to accomplish the same speeds in a four inch package, would you be willing to switch? Thanks guys.